let's begin Metro Fowl with some laughter. And yes, 25 years in the business, Okebakase is still making us laugh really hard. Well, yes, over two decades he has used his craft to bring joy, smiles, fun and laughter to so many homes and he still remains relevant in the industry. Well, they say laughter can never be enough. So this is a time we have to go check out how the actor and comedian Oke Bakasi celebrated this milestone in his career. Stepping into the main hall of the Eco Hotel and Suites in Lagos, one is greeted by different images of popular Nigerian actor and comedian Oke Bakasi. These pictures tell stories going down memory lane of his humble start in the Nigerian entertainment industry, which spans over 25 years ago. Jack of all trade and master of all as he likes to describe himself, over 25 years he has invested in various aspects of the entertainment industry like acting, comedy and being masters of ceremonies. All these he has done over these years and has brought him fame and fortune. He's done amazingly well for himself and um, he's one of the very few who understands um, how realistic comedy can be. He understands the power of spontaneity. He has shown over the years that self-development is key. He's reinvented himself over and over again. Um, I met him at an event and um, you know the moment he just opened his mouth. Then I went to say hi. Well, I just had to ask, what did you study in school? He said engineering. I said, oh, that's why I studied engineering as well. We well, are just intelligent like that. That's it. It's been beautiful ever since then. Whenever he sees me, encourages me, knowing that we are the new generations coming up. He's, he has this mentor figure kind of relationship when he sees me, encourages you to continue and to go on. He's almost like a mentor to me, somebody that I can talk to whenever. Um, Whenever I have certain issues, even life issues, I can call him and he's always willing to advise me and willing to talk to me. He's somebody who's filled with so much wisdom and um, uh, it's an honor to call him not just someone that I work with, but call him a friend. You know? 25 years on, he is still relevant in the game and has chosen to celebrate it with this event tagged OK Bakasi Comedy Masterclass. Comedy, music, movie stars grace the Comedy Masterclass event in celebration of one of their own. The award-winning multi-talented act born Okechuku Anthony Onyebule grew up believing he would be a medical doctor, but found his way into entertainment by acting in stage plays before his first break as an actor in Zeb Ejero's TV series Fortunes. One of the special ways he celebrated this milestone in his career was by giving the stage to many young and other colleagues of his to open the show. As you get better, they go, they go play somewhere much. The somewhere much that is penalty. But you must go take the screen, watch your robot guy. As you don't get the good morning, Brooklyn, I mean, the Jekka Manojo. As we live. Yeah! Oh no! If 
Other big names in the comedy industry like Nigeria's biggest Ali Baba, Basket Mouth, Julius Agu and Bobby dishing out jokes on stage. Do you know those days when they beat one person, the sound of the cry of that person informs every other person of how deadly that beating is. Have you received slap before that you lose signals? I mean, you lose cry signals. The slap will touch the back of your back. Bang! You go. This airline is the cheetahs. Weight is supposed to be the same across the board. Your body weight and your checked in luggage. 150. Everybody. May see me. Everybody will walk out. If the, your limit is at 150, your weight has to be 85, which means I will get an extra 65 a day for luggage. Finish! That time I'm going to lose some weight, turn to 50 if I can carry more luggage. That time I'm for airport, you will see where men, they price people. You will see someone like special air, they just see air with fire. Say, sir, do you have any checked in luggage? Say, yes, I checked in too. Ah, fine, no problem. Then I will help me carry my luggage. Say, ah, right. Say, okay, you need 24 now. And you're about 22, 22. Space, please. I can't have a problem. will carry people low tire like that. They try basically long story short. So they do jokes, so they make money, they born children. Teddy Babyface just had twins. Yeah. I thought we just had twins. Some three weeks ago we discovered say twins drunk had a baby. But not being wife born now. Did they have them? My wife, they wreck. How can Clint do this? Why did he do this? And they looked at him. I want to know. I'm asking you, why did he do this? He said, he was drunk. Imagine when you tell your wife good night by 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Your wife woke up. One generator. The next thing God they see, hopping, is chatting, and it's even if they look at the person, but they like it's chatting with zero eight zero three three one three one. Yeah, when you forget you don't want to call that number. Say that, say that. What are you doing with my husband? The one is getting messed up. For two places, you know, if you wear, if you come from this house, their jokes gave way for the man of the moment as he entertained his audience with rib cracking jokes. In fact. If then they give national honors for Nigeria, the only two people will qualify for honors, like comedians and like shallow people, will be solving problems. Then after comedians and like shallow people, the feel begin to give bad men, people where they say fear. Because recently I started doing this project on the effects of alcohol on marriages in the dwindling economy. It's a research project. Small time, you see her that will bring her phone, begin try numbers. You know, I want you, married man, don't laugh. Because again, as you go laugh like you, you go suspect. Is that what you married man, just serious? You guys are starting so gentle matter when you get up. If you just don't hear your wife, you go say, these comedians, they don't even get shame. Then, 
sometimes some people when they text you, okay, but has to change that topic. Change that topic. You're making my wife uncomfortable. <laughs> Tell me your wife, I don't know what to do. Now you're six, now you're All right, man, for our sake, let me not go into some territories. Weeks and days of not resting, planning, strategizing. I'm happy everything came together for good. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm, I'm full of gratitude, you know, to my friends, colleagues, you know, people who have supported. It's not easy, you know, I'm so grateful. The man always said, Go, I don't want again. You there for dog, stupid woman. Idiot. See as you sit down, no sense. The woman sit there and they cry, don't let go. I'm taking that place, idiot. Go, go, I don't want you. Go. The woman sit there and they open a wine. One batch of my way they come back, carry pockets. Go fetch water, they come. Stupid woman, stress yourself. I said, leave that place, leave that place. The bachelor, they come. The man, they watch and I say, let me see. <laughs> As if I say, don't they enter eye range. Will you come up and come inside before you discuss yourself? Stand-up comedy, a stint in politics, as well as a radio and TV show hosting. OK is no doubt excited about the next 25 years of his career. The celebration of this new milestone is important, and he is enjoying every moment of it. <laughs>